Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Today is actually Monday, March 18th, 2019. I delivered this original speech on Saturday at Chabad on March 16th, 2019. Uh, the way I started it off is that I wanted to acknowledge people that were here visiting. My brother Jerry and his wife Sheila flew in from New York. My nephews Andrew, Mark, and his wife Suzanne flew down from Seattle. And my niece Phyllis and her husband Rick came here from Nellie Gale Ranch, which is about three miles away. <laughs> Our friend Leslie and her husband Bob came here from Indio, and our beloved friend, Mary Ann Zell, whom we know since she was born, came in from Oxnard. And of course, the congregation, and I want to thank the rabbi and Basi for everything that they have done for our family. They really have performed mitzvahs for us. I have written a few words about my life, which I want to share with you. I really don't want to forget anything, so I'm reading from my notes. As you can imagine, when a person reaches 90, it's very possible, just very possible, that there could be lapses in the gray matter. And I want to tell you how I got here from there. Life's journey is quite complex, and I do not certainly have all the answers. But what I do know is that I have established strong foundations in my life that have helped me get through my life. I want to share some of these foundations with you. I am a person who looks at life through the eyes of an optimist. I was born March 13, 1929, in Brooklyn, New York. I can hear the thoughts in your head now saying, boy, is he old. Yes, I am 90 in age, but much younger in my thoughts. And uh, I'm still walking, and I'm still in a hurry. But where am I going? That's another question I cannot answer. I want to tell you a few stories which I'm going to categorize. This is how I actually got my Hebrew name. I always thought that my Hebrew name was Naftula. But when we joined Chabad, the rabbi began calling me Naftuli. So that is my official Hebrew name, which means one who helps in the struggle. This is about presidents. I was born when Herbert Hoover was elected president. Some of you may not recognize his name. Hoover, unfortunately, was president in October, I did say unfortunately, was president in October 1929 when the stock market crashed and the long depression began for the American people. We were saved when President Roosevelt was elected in 1932. FDR was one of my heroes. He not only rescued the United States,
but he showed us his personal strength. Roosevelt had polio before becoming president. He vowed that he would walk again while fighting this dreadful disease. His legs were very weak. So he developed a strategy and he came up with a plan to strengthen his upper body, his shoulders, his arms, and chest. He didn't give up. Franklin succeeded and he took the steps that led to his presidency. Franklin reflected one of my foundations in life. Always be positive. Tackle the problem and find a way to solve it. Remember to adjust and adapt. It can be done. Franklin's strength started me off in my interest in politics. Baseball. I remember when I was 11 years old. It happened to be October 5th, 1941. I was listening to the Baseball World Series game between the Dodgers and the Yankees. Of course, it was on the radio. What else? I lived in the Bronx, New York. It was the top of the ninth inning and the Dodgers were ahead. The Yankees were at bat and had two outs and the Dodgers only required one more game, one more out to win the game. The Dodgers catcher missed the ball that would have provided a win for the Dodgers and ended the game. That's all they needed. But it was not to be. The Yankees then scored four runs, they won the game, and eventually the 1941 World Series. Another life foundation for me. Keep your faith. Never give up. The best is yet to come. This event started my interest in becoming a rabid sports fan. I'm still rooting for the Dodgers and the Lakers. Bar Mitzvah. In March 1942, I had my Bar Mitzvah. The rabbi says, you have a Bar Mitzvah every time you are called up for an Aliyah or when you say a prayer from the Torah. I thank you, Rabbi, for calling me up so many times to the Torah. It is a wonderful feeling to chant the prayers. I am so grateful to have been born in the Jewish religion. I love the singing of the prayers and the wonderful feeling of reciting the prayers. It makes me feel alive and closer to God. This is another foundation that has made my life better dedication to God and belief in Judaism. Family. I am so happy my immediate family is able to be here today for my celebration of life. My son Mike flew in from Durham, North Carolina. Mike works for a sports organization that helps disabled children and adults improve their outlook on life by participating in sports activities. One of his jobs is coaching wheelchair basketball. Mike thought that the most effective way for him to coach was to sit in a wheelchair himself and shoot baskets with the children. Mike adapted to their world, bonding with them and inspiring them. My beautiful daughter Robin and her marvelous husband Michael 
are involved in the entertainment industry. They make mu they make music and movies. They've made seven independent feature films. They are very caring individuals and very adventurous. They travel around the world for their movie shoots and also they give many concerts uplifting audiences everywhere they go. We lost uh, our daughter Deanne Joy to an accident with a drunk driver. Dee Dee, as we called her, was only 25. Dee Dee was a school teacher and also loved to travel the world. She had a, as we say, a guten Mashuma, or as we say, a good soul. My grandchildren, Daniel and Sarah, are also here today. DJ, as we call him, is serving as a monk with Self-Realization Fellowship. DJ's goal is to improve the world through service to others. Sarah is a delightful, energetic young lady that is also involved in the entertainment industry. Sarah is multi-talented. Multi -talented. She sings, she dances, she makes funny faces, she acts, she makes films, and she has the attributes to succeed in this tough competitive industry. Our family has stuck together during the many ups and downs of our lives. In December 2017, we nearly lost my wife Simone. She contacted an illness which turned into sepsis. My son drove in from Tucson, Arizona. Luckily, my daughter and son-in-law were visiting us from Europe. While Simone was recovering for six weeks in the hospital, rehab center, and also at home, the five of us lived together and nursed her back to health. It was a tough, difficult time, but the love of our family helped us get through it. As my father labeled Louis to, some, to many of you, used to say about family, together, together, together. Wise words which I have adhered to in my 90 years. I am very fortunate to have such a wonderful family and to share 67 years together with my lovely wife, Simone. Thank you for listening and celebrating with me. This is a happy, happy day I shall always remember. So, my advice to you is find your strengths and make them stronger. I offer my love to everyone here. May God bless all of you. Thank you.